Um, so that's kind of your opening pitch. And uh, once you get their attention, uh, they might ask you more questions. They might not. They might just sign and move on and, and thank them for that, if so, um, and then move on to your next person, right? Collect, keep collecting signatures. Uh, but sometimes they might have questions for you. They might ask, like, you know, uh, who is this candidate? What do they stand for? Um, and sometimes you might even hear people ask, who is the Green Party? Um, as much as, um, you know, uh, Democrats attack us in, in the media and everything's Jill Stein's fault and all that stuff. Um, not everyone actually pays attention to all that stuff, right? <laughs> they're, they're not watching CNN and Fox News and all that stuff all the time. And Arr! So there's a lot of people out there who just um, don't know much about um, the Green Party in general. And um, if we can reach them and tell them what our message is, uh, a lot of those folks might be people who gave up on the Democratic Party, gave up on the duopoly. And if we tell them, no, you've got another choice, they didn't even know they had a choice. And so they're willing to sign. They might even be willing to um, uh, get involved. Um, so they might have some follow-up questions is my point here. So um, here's a couple of the common responses that I've personally heard and, and seen and kind of some tips on how to handle it. Um, first one is, you know, tell me more about the candidate or the Green Party. Um, so like I said, Really, our goal here is that we want to collect as many signatures as we can as quickly as possible because we're trying to meet our deadlines and our requirements. Um, but of course, you don't want to be rude. <laughs> so what you want to try to do is respond to them, but keep it short. So, you know, a good way to talk about it, for example, is that, um, you know, we're, we're a party that supports our four pillars. You know, democracy, ecology, justice, peace. You could say that you know we're we we're a party that um, supports healthcare, Medicare for all, the environment, uh, and a green new deal, and social justice, or something like that. Uh, you could keep it short like that, and then hand them the literature that we were talking about a moment ago, and you know invite them to to read more, check out the website, and to contact you if they have any questions in the future. The important thing is to try not to get sucked into too deep of a conversation, and especially not a debate. You don't want to debate anyone right there. If they start getting funny about, you know, oh, well, what do you mean about this? And the, uh, collecting signatures is not really the place to do that. <laughs> so you can just hand them some literature and say, you know, these, these are our stances and check it out and feel free to contact us later. Um, and then, you know, get back to petitioning. Um, but that said, I, I don't want to scare anyone because uh, in, in my personal experience and a lot of folks' experience, the uh, people that want to debate or whatever are not actually that common. Most, most people are actually pretty friendly and they'll just, they'll sign or they'll ask a friendly question and they'll take a flyer and, and it's not a big deal. So um, the best thing you can do is just kind of give the flyer and direct them to the website and then keep petitioning. 